This is very loud in my ears. Okay. We're starting with a another explanation. But this is cute. What the heck? Oh my god. They're, they're really getting on into the like biology of why these characters have this. I did not expect that to be something they would do. Okay. Many of them are actually quite famous for using their extendable arms. So they're mutants. See, yeah, none of them have the problem. None of them are freaks. They have normal arms. For some reason, none of these superstars <clears throat> can remember the moment they first realized they had the arms ability. <laughs> they just woke up one morning and bam, extendable arms. Okay. In so it could happen to us. One of the arms fighters, Springman, had this to say. I was shocked at first. But having arms like this is actually pretty rare. <laughs> Very intelligent. <clears throat> yeah, I'm Biff, your trusty arm. Yeah, attack. we know. Today we're bringing you another non-stop volley of arms action. So expect a healthy dose of Oh, that's a cool stadium. Look at that. <laughs> that's pretty neat. This to cuffs. But first, it's time for arms 101. School's in session, and this advice always comes in handy. I don't want this. Arms, you already told us this! When yeah, you've told us this, you cretins! I like that party popper thing, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a light one, though. Stronger arms are more powerful, but also slower. For multi-hit arms... It's got a good, high-quality soundtrack, I can tell you that right now. I don't like the big arms. Those scare me. I'm not gonna use those. Oh, look at that. You can block punches. So you have to choose whether to dodge a punch or block it with your own. If you know the weight of the arm. Oh, yeah, that ain't going to do anything. Is always within reach and your chance of winning. Do you do this to block? That's pretty cool. Like if it's motion control, you do this to block. Oh, that guy Helix is beyond sex. Oh, look at this. This is like Mario Kart's uh race track. What was that called? Electrodome? Look at that. Knock down your opponent with. Okay. And create an opening with electricity. Blow away your rivals with a tornado of wind. Freeze That's pretty neat. Did we know this? Ice. Stop a competitor from moving with. That's stop. cool. Blow up any challenger with a huge explosion. And take their eyes off the <laughs> with. Oh, nice. Different nice. Have different attributes, so it's usually a good idea to equip a different one on the left than on okay. the right. Okay. So you have two powers at your disposal. I want an amiibo of the announcer guy. He'd make a good amiibo, I think. Nothing to fear. But enough with the technical I wonder if we'll hear about amiibo in this. Competing in the ultimate arms competition, the Grand Prix. Grand Prix, that's racing terms. The yeah, we know about Spring the Man. we know about this dude. Springman is uh, I like him. I like his design, I like his toothpaste hair. While his hair may look like it's fake. His passion for arms is definitely real. Oh wait, his hair's fake. What? His dash, the shockwave that he can unleash once charged, and the indomitable spirit he shows up. Characters seem to have some, you know, like good abilities. So there's a reason to pick certain characters for sure. That's pretty cool. Here are his signature arms. Oh wait, they have like arms related to the character? To unleash a flaming punch. The toaster. The boomerang flies in a curve through the air and blows enemies away. After That's cool. Charging. Oh. Shoots three bolts horizontally. oh, nice. Try attacking from the front with a tri bolt, then from the side with a boomerang. How's that strike you? That's pretty cool. This is my least favorite character in the game so far. Just this weird mechanical thing where she. I, I'm not digging her. She's got lights for boobs. Oh, she's a kid. Disregard that last statement. So technically, she doesn't have the gift of arms. She just has like a robotic thing. The whammer, the homie. I hate that name. That is such a cheesy, crappy name. This is Nintendo of America Treehouse at its lowest when they're calling things the homie. But I like the whammer, so they made up for it. Look at that. That's pretty cool. 
<laughs> so, characters have, like, hands that are specific to them. I think. That's pretty neat. Biff's fave. This guy's... Oh, oh, look at those ladies. Ninja College? He's got some cool... He, what are those, like, blades? He can disappear even in midair or when guarding. Here oh, so he's got some of the same. The can go around I guess, I don't know, I think you can pick any of the hands. The buff pops up They're just saying, like, well. ones that are specific. I don't know, I don't get that. And the tri -blast requires a delicate touch. Once charged, it blows stuff up. Well, I guess that are, those are different. Blocking attacks from the side with a shock ram, try blowing up your opponent with a tri -blast. <laughs> Oh, Biff is the name of the announcer. Okay, yeah. I want an amiibo of Biff. I don't like this guy. This poor fella woke up at the mausoleum with a goal worth He's just... I don't know. His long -lost family. I love mummies, but I just don't know about him. He doesn't really look like a mummy. Oh, he's got ghosts, though. Oh, a trampoline? What? Is that a penguin? Alright, this guy I might like. I don't like those megatons, though. Holy crap. The retorture yeah. is a fire cannon that shoots three bullets at a time. <laughs> and the yes. Is a reliable firebird. Oh my god, yes. Those are the best arms right now. Hands. Lure him into a counterattack with the retorture. Then hit him hard. <sighs> Look at those. Megaton. Now that's a sweet strategy. A I've already got one of my taunts when I'm playing against friends, and I'm using that bird. Oh my god. I was going to say, my taunt is going to be, you've been tweeted. But now I'm distracted because this is a new dude. Wow, what? Is he a snake? Oh, whoa! What the heck? What is, what is this? Oh, you're on like a thing? This stadium is amazing! That's pretty neat. The Hydra shoots three vertically aligned bullets, perfect for cornering fighters. That stadium is very cool. Is one ice cold attack with a wide arc. Swing sideways with a slamamander. Watch as the opponent jumps. Yeah, I'm really curious how well this game is gonna take off. It seems pretty neat. Versus Player battles, and so on behalf of the league, I'd like to introduce you to a variety of four player. Styles in oh, wow! Kill shot. There's a lot of modes there. First, here's the most basic mode fight. Okay, during the fight, bombs and healing items. Oh, oh neat! All fighters on an emotional roller coaster. That's neat. In two on two team fights, team members are chained together by strings, so allies will be more closely knit than ever. Okay. Punches can accidentally hit your ally. You <laughs> That's gonna be nerve-wracking and annoying in all the best ways. So you'd need eight Joy-Cons. That's like a small fortune. Oh! That's so cool! Oh, yes. This game is delivering. Oh! Oh! <laughs> This is awesome! This is what I wanted, Nintendo! Nice, nice, nice! These cool modes! This this game just became very, very, very cool. So we saw a preview of this. This is cool. Oh, it's two-player, though. Nice. That's cool. Oh, one on a hundred. Oh, they're like weird little gooey helixes. That's neat. It's like a 100 man melee. Yeah, this is neat.
get new arms. As you fight on, you'll rack up a lot of in-game prize money. Nice. I hear most arms fighters consider it unstylish to hold on to your winning. <laughs> Let's just blow it all at the arm. Ah, uh, cool arm getter. <laughs> what the hell? What kind of a name? Ah, uh, this is neat. Every now and then you make this has a lot of Smash Brothers feel to it to me. I don't understand how it works, but somehow duplicate arms you receive have a higher attack. Oh. Too sweet. <laughs> your keep as a prize fighter and use it at the arm getter i like this little arm getter mini game thing to collect things and like the co coins the, the currency you get so oh the heiress. ribbon girl is it's pretty pretty damn sexy oh she's a singer so she's kind of like callie and marie but not disgusting looking and not annoying She's the good version of Callie and Marie. I'll take it. This game! What the heck? I mean, I was interested in it before, but this is... I think I've... You've witnessed me go from interested to excited. I'm going two poppers. Dual popping it. Let's get popping. <laughs> I, uh, I am definitely going to be a, a motion control player in this. I can't imagine playing this with just buttons. I think motion control is going to be really fun with this. Min Min's got some pretty thick thighs, though. I say that as a good thing. <clears throat> Her hair looks like noodles. And her arms are noodles. Oh, wow. So, yeah, some of these do look like kind of variants on others. But it does seem like there's at least one, from what I've seen, that is exclusive design for the character. Like, she's got the dragon. The dragon shoots kind of slowly. So it's a good idea to cover each gap with a huge smack of a ram. I love that. I love the artwork in the middle of that stadium there of the dragon. It's really good. The man oh, yeah. He, he looks as the sexiest character in the game. Yeah! Flubber! Getting Robin Williams up in here. Oh, look at him. He's so weird. He's the tingle of the arms series. Look at that. It's funny, <laughs> when I look at him, I just imagine how they animated him, because he clearly doesn't have a traditional rigging system. Oh, the Guardian looks cool. Blorb? Nice, Helix is amazing. I think, I, I think he might be my main. Awesome. Oh, nice. A lot of strategy in, in what you're picking. I like. Oh, you've been blorbed. Now I have the utter joy of introducing a two-in-one tag team. The Clockwork Cops fight and. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this stadium. It's tropical. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> All right. The character design is fantastic. Oh! Oh! He's just a head. Oh! Power Rangers up in here. <laughs> oh, they don't seem to have any arms that are specific to them. I think you can pick any, though. I don't know. They're wacky. <laughs> Yes. Everything about this is very, very yes. Oh, look at this one. Twin Tell. Okay. Oh. Alright. <laughs> look at the stadium. This is pretty cool. There's cars in the way and stuff. 
Oh. She's got some leather booty going on there. I approve of her. Oh! Whoa! I don't, okay. I forgot her name, but I'm already in love. Yes. Oh, oh. oh, I just realized this. How did I not see this? Probably because I was looking at her butt. Uh, but her arms are her hair. Her pigtails. Thunderbird. Oh, she's maybe another one of my mains. Is it possible to have every character in the game as your main? Yes, 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 yes. Nice. I wonder if there's more, though. Or if there's only 10, because 10 is a little minimal. So I'm hoping that there's a lot we don't know about. Like, obviously, they're saving some for us to unlock ourselves. Or maybe they'll add DLC or something. I don't know. But I do feel like those are all great characters, but 10 is too minimal for a fighting game. In my opinion. I mean, yeah, I know there's going to be people that are like, oh, it's not true. Street Fighter has blah, blah, blah. But I, I think that there should be more. The, the modes have been great. Oh, oh, he's new! Alright, so there's more than ten. Who the hell is he? Party match! Online features will be free through fall 2017 after a free trial. Oh, I didn't get to read all that. Okay, cool. Okay. One lobby can support up to ten systems and up to two players per system. So this music is really good. Players can get together in a lobby for two player, three player, or four player matches. The arms league will divide you into groups automatically. So even if you're shy, there's no need to worry. You can enjoy the fight. That mode together. is so cool. This is a cool game. Well, have I got the online multiplayer mode for you? Feeling cocky? I am after seeing that ribbon girl in this game. See what I did there? That was inappropriate. What is... If you win a match, your rank will go up. Elena Lollipop. It will sink along with your pride. Your rep is at stake. So fight like you mean. Ranked match. Just enter a ranked match and wait until your opponent is selected while playing another mode. Once your rival is selected, the ranked match will begin immediately. All right. Yeah, what's local multi? This is important to me. How is the local multiplayer? Oh, that's not ideal. I wanted there to be split screen. Oh, there is split screen. All right, I mean, that's nice. That's a feature I like being in there. I'll never use it probably. But I there's split screen in this, right? For two players. I know that. They've played. I've seen that already, right? Alright, we're almost done. Apparently, arms will continue to offer free updates with new fighters, stages, and arms, even after the game launches. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll have to discuss this in a discussion. What's that? Something, something too far in the future to care? Well, for someone like you, I have one more announcement. Okay. On these dates, we'll be holding an online demo event called the Arms oh. Global Test Post. <laughs> Test punch. <laughs> uh, so the 26th of this month. Oh, yeah. So it comes out in June. So all of those days. Oh, North America only for that one. Oh, and for that one. So that's cool, man. Arms is good. We got a test punch coming up. Characters look great. The, the modes looked great. The stadium. Yeah, this just became a must have. This is really cool. I'm, I'm hoping there's enough content. I don't want them to do a Splatoon thing where they're just like giving us a minimal game and giving us their... Oh, that's a pink version of Helix. You can change colors? Oh, I think that was confirmed, actually. I think we saw variations on the colors before, but... That, yes. Yeah, there's a color variant. This is great. Great music. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Arms is pretty great. That robot dog thing. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what? That's neat. And then there's that guy. I wonder if those those cartoons on those posters were little hints at some characters. I hope so, because I saw little frogs. Dunking people in the hoops? Heck yeah, that's going to be really... Oh, look at that guy. The weird, mysterious boss-looking guy. Whoa, whoa! What was that about? I don't know. That was pretty great. Uh, 
I'm very, I'm very uh, excited. Ba, ba, ba.